right so we're here in Prague today for a bit of a race we're doing a half marathon to uh, test the legs a bit for uh, for Milan marathon see how the training is going what am, what am I doing right what am I doing wrong so yeah the weather for now is still okay so let's hope it lasts until we get to the start all right boys say hello yes. Bye. 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 <laughs> right, we're off. So that's a start. Let's see how long we can roll. 355. And also, as you can see, I've got the full racing kit, the racing moustache, I mean. What's a race without a moustache for that extra power? <laughs> right, 5k in, splitting it, 19.15, still on pace. A couple of seconds faster than it should be, but still feeling controlled. And as you can see, absolutely horrible weather. Okay, 10k up. Still feeling good, slipped a slow kilometer in there, so just keep the concentration after we 10k in 38.45. Okay, at the turnaround point, get something to drink and then go. Yeah, yeah, dicky dicky. See if we can spot some friends. Pierre. Rolling boy! <laughs> Hit it! Let's go boy! <laughs> nice! Right, on to the last game. Absolutely everything. I can't see my heart rate, something's wrong, but I guess it's about 300. Last game, big push. Let's do it. Home straight. Long, long home straight. Right, that's a wrap. Just finished, finish line at the back. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Ale, 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 ale. Let's go, boy, let's go. <laughs> Give me that Welsh power, man. Let's roll. Yeah, and also maybe a good time to mention, look at this sweet kit from the big dogs from Aoi Birsti. Now I can be as cool as them with some personalized kit, so anything for that extra power, man. Thank you, boys. Right, so it's a couple of days after the race, and I think I got so carried away by the race and having a good time there and having Rich and Pierre there that I kind of forgot to say anything about the race after I finished, so. I thought I'll just do a, a quick little recap. So yeah, the race was awesome. It was really, really good. Uh, I ran a PB, time of one hour 21.35. So it's about a three minute PB for me. And yeah, things went better than I thought. The plan was to just go out at, at 3.55 pace. So that would just put me under, under 124. But as always, hectic start. You always do a bit of a faster kilometer. Tried to slow it down a bit. Pace was still around 351. Tried to slow down a bit, still 351. And then I kind of got rolling and I thought, I'll just keep it like that. It feels good. Not that much faster, but yeah, I just kept rolling like that. I almost ran the whole race alone. There was like really no one, no one to just uh, run with. And yeah, the whole race just really felt it felt good, felt in control. Even at the end of the race, I thought maybe you could uh, push it a bit more, but I had a really, really good finish. The last three kilometers were like, I don't know, 346, 342, 339, I think. So still had a lot of energy at the end. So yeah, all in all, really, really happy. So the main thing now is to not get cocky before Milan Marathon because yeah, of course this was a really good taste and it shows me that things are going well and I should be with that to half marathon time I should be able to break three but yeah just don't get cocky now just keep going 
four weeks left getting a, a last couple of workouts before the marathon some really really specific marathon workouts long run effort speed in the week and just keep going not uh, not let it go now